Hello guys, in this video we are going to compare Grammarly with Microsoft Word. I have a piece of content which I am going to paste in a couple of minutes and we will see how both perform in tests. Let's paste the piece of content in Grammarly. Grammarly has a window which is set goals. If you want to set the goals then go ahead otherwise ignore. Let's set the goals for this video so we can get better results from Grammarly. Alright. Let's move to Word and paste the content. To make things simple, I'm going to add total mistakes and remaining mistakes so we can count how many issues in total and how many issues we have fixed. In the beginning, Grammarly is showing 8 mistakes in total while Word is suggesting 5 issues in total. Now the first issue in Grammarly is the word every day and same mistake is also in Word. Let's fix this mistake and move on. The second mistake apparently is the same in both, which is because the spelling is wrong. So far so good. Oh, we have got a difference here. Grammarly is suggesting on with capital O, while word is not suggesting with capital O. The winner is Grammarly here. I'm going to fix the mistake in Grammarly and bold the text in word so we can remember the error. Just now Grammarly has added another mistake to fix. I'm going to increase the total mistakes count and remaining mistakes count. Even though Grammarly showed a mistake on YouTube word, the correct spelling of YouTube is different which Grammarly missed. On the other hand, word could not suggest comma but the correct YouTube spelling. The third word of the content is YouTuber which T should be capital but both could not suggest that. So far Grammarly is ahead of word and we can see the total of 9 mistakes in Grammarly while a total of 5 mistakes in Word. Moving on, we have a mistake on message. The correct word should be messages and both could find the issue. Let's update the remaining mistakes. Oh, what happened? Word has suggested another error just now. Let's update the total issues in Word. Both are suggesting a mistake on word find. Let's correct the error and see if both are correct. Meanwhile, Word has added another mistake. After the new and latest mistakes, we have a total count of 10 in Grammarly and 7 in Microsoft Word. As we are going along, new mistakes are coming up. We have got a few commas to fix and we will see how it goes. Let's add comma after the word important. After fixing that, we have got another mistake in Word. Let's change the total mistakes count and this time it's 8. It's a bit confusing here because Grammarly is suggesting N before email while Word is not suggesting anything. Ok, Grammarly has just added two more mistakes. Now the total count is 12 in Grammarly and 8 in Word. Grammarly is a smart tool but sometimes it doesn't suggest the correct word. Now I'm going to ignore this mistake and change the total back to 11 because we are not going to fix this mistake. Grammarly is suggesting to add a before particular and I'm pretty sure Grammarly is correct because we add an article before the word particular. On the other hand, word removed the word particular but it did not add an article before video. We have the last mistake in Grammarly which is comma before and. Let's see how word is doing. Oops, word has added another mistake and we will update the total mistakes count. Let's fix the error and see what happens. Ok, Word has suggested another mistake. Let's fix and update the total count. After fixing all the mistakes, we can see the total was 11 in Grammarly and total count was 10 in Word. We can see the difference. Both are great tools and both have different functionalities. Both are smart but not as sharp as a person. You can see the mistake on he is expensive while it should be it is expensive. Also the spelling of YouTuber needs to be fixed. There might be other issues which I can't see. Anyway we can also try copying the Grammarly content to Word and Word content to Grammarly and see if there is a difference. After copying and pasting we can see Word could find 3 more mistakes and Grammarly could find 2 more mistakes. 
To be honest, both are not perfect. If you have both, then you have the maximum protection, but one is not enough. Anyway, thanks for watching this Grammarly vs Word video. If you want the full comparison with the latest tests, then check out my up-to-date article. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos.